Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to create a binary mask for a volume using the volume segmenter application from MATLAB. This is going to be used to label uh, which parts of the MRI brain image have a tumor and which ones do not. And one of the purposes of this is providing data to train a neural network uh, to automatically detect uh, where is a tumor within a brain MRI image. There's a reference link in this video that shows how to do the actual training of the deep learning neural network to do this. Okay, so for to train the network, uh, the input is gonna be the three-dimensional brain image and the expected output is gonna be another three-dimensional volume of the same size, but uh, instead of having the values of the grayscale color, it's gonna have the values of the category labels. And in this case, it's zero, one, uh, which zero means there's no tumor and one means there is tumor. Okay, so let's uh, start doing this. Let's load first the MRI image of the brain, which is in this math file that comes uh, with MATLAB. Uh, you can see that it's three-dimensional and since it's grayscale, then the color is only represented by an assigned integer 16. Okay, so let's just take a look at it using the volume viewer. Uh, you can get the volume viewer also for a, is this is an image processing toolbox application and you can get it from from this menu here and the same with the volume segment which is the one that we're going to use to create the label but uh, i like uh, using the command because it's faster and also you can provide as an input the volume that you want to view in the viewer instead of going through the drop downs and selecting it okay so in the viewer you can rotate you can zoom in zoom out uh, and also you can uh, view different slices of the image and you can see a tumor that is in here sometimes it's visible and then it's not and if you want to see where the slice is uh, and this is for x y all the planes uh, and if you want to see where the slice correspond to you just select slice planes and you can see where the slice belong okay so you can see a tumor here that uh, we want to mark Okay, so for that, we're going to use the volume segmenter. Okay, and the volume segmenter looks similar. Okay, but the three-dimensional image uh, is here, and you can rotate and zoom with the same uh, buttons, scrolling with the mouse, uh, moving with the mouse. Uh, but here is the planes. You can see this is the XY plane and here's the tumor, but you also can select other planes as well and do the same. Okay, the, this segmenter has some, uh, you can use uh, image processing uh, commands like erode, delayed, uh, fill, and you can export this uh, as a script later to, to do the, the segmentation. But uh, Although that could also be done with deep learning. So let's do it manually just to provide the data for deep learning. So let's look at where, well, first let me get, make sure I'm in the XY slice. And let's pick up where the, where the tumor appears. Okay, so here I'm going to draw a polygon, which works similar to marking distances, measuring distances in Google Maps. Okay. And now let's take the final about when the tumor is about to disappear. This is not going to be perfect, but it's just to show how uh, we can create the label volume. Now we're going to use auto interpolate to create the volume. And you can see that instead of having two separate planes, we have a full volume. Okay, it's not perfect, but uh, it's just to illustrate. Okay, so once you finish labeling, you can save the labels in a math file. Once you save it in a math file, then it can be picked up by a data store, and then the data store is going to read it within the train command of the neural network in order to train the neural network. Okay, but for this example, we're going to use save it into workspace where the MATLAB global variables are. Okay, so now we have the volume. Uh, well, not yet. We have to select. If we want the value of the label be logical, which would be a zero or one, boolean, 
or categorical. Categorical is feels better for what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna choose that. And you can see that both the labels and the volumes are of the same size. The difference is the base type, which this is for the color, the volume has to be 16, and categorical, which is zero or one, uh, has two more or not has two more. Okay, so now let's visualize it. A, let's use a UI pa panel, which is a figure, like a, okay, and we're gonna display the image there. So uh, we're gonna uh, overlay the labels with the volume, and we're gonna put up transparency of 0.33 to the volume labels because if otherwise the the volumes not is gonna cover the whole uh, tumor, and we're not gonna see it. So we're gonna use this zero and and red as the as the label uh, color map. The panel is the panel that we just created here. And the volume, uh, bring volume and the labels. Okay, so we're gonna now we're gonna see it here. Okay, so in here we can see that uh, we are covering the tumor, and this is what uh, you provide uh, for the neural network for training. And please see the reference uh, of using deep learning to train uh, to detect the tumor in in the links. And thank you for uh, for watching.